गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल we'll wait for two more minutes and then we will start okay fine uh, i guess uh, we can start now once again uh, good morning to the class this is about third lab session and the first lab session we had a, a discussion on orientation and the what are the activities 
how we will conduct the lab. Uh, in the second session, we uh, discussed about uh, uh, book review, what book review is, uh, how we can go ahead with this, and uh, lab number three, right? That that was related to. Hello. I guess everybody has joined now. So uh, letter writing is the next lab. We will talk about. OK, so we have touched upon two topics of uh, lab activities, book review and role plays. Right in this lab session, uh, we'll talk about letter writing, specifically formal letter writing and business letter writing. The remaining part of unit two, right, we will discuss in the classroom. Right, that is report writing, proposal writing, technical description. Right, that will be taken care of in the classroom session. Okay, now when we start with today, uh, I will uh, ask two students to you know uh, respond to me when I ask the questions. Right, uh, Kevin is your Mike working today. Even if you can unmute your mic and respond. Is your mic working today? Yes, sir. Working. Yes. Fine. Great. Okay. So whenever I ask questions, right, you are requested to respond to, right? Along with that, uh, I would ask Runda. Runda. Yes, sir. Great. Okay. Runda, uh, have you joined from two different devices or what? Okay. Because it shows that you know Runda Patel is twice. So are you twins or there are two devices? Uh, there are two devices. Okay. One PC and my mobile. Because I have no uh, mic in PC, so I'm using mobile too. Okay, great. Fine. No issue. So uh, we can start with? Okay. Yeah. Fine. Sounds great. Uh, for opening remarks, uh, what shall we do is we will merge the student of opening remark and the student of closing remarks. That means there will be two students who will be talking about closing remarks, right? Okay. So uh, we will understand first uh, types of communication. So here I need your participation that we need to understand that when we go for letter writing, letter writing falls under the umbrella of one type of communication. So what what is it that we need to understand? So I like to ask this question to you people that uh, how many types of communications are there or what are they? If you can answer, right? you can unmute your mic or you can type whatever is comfortable to you. And we will see fastest finger first. My question is, how many types of communication are there? And if you are, if you are clear about it, if you can answer, which are they? Okay. Yes, uh, says verbal and non-verbal. Very good. Anybody else? Verbal and Nandini. Very good. Okay, Nandini has added one more digital. Okay. Fine. So, you people are getting upgraded, updated. Very good. Fine. Okay. So, uh, move with that thing. Yes, both are absolutely right. Verbal communication and non-verbal communication. These are the two different types of communication that we have, right? With which we communicate. Now, uh, what do you mean by verbal communication? Verbal communication is a communication that uses that uses words while communicating, right? That means when we have words used to communicate use verbal communication and non-verbal communication is a communication 
when we use you know other than words that means words are not used uh, there can be sign language there can be uh, other than sign language what can be there right there can be silence there can be poses para language proximity that is space right so these are the things you know that includes uh, or that comes under the umbrella of non verbal communication now in verbal communication we can further subdivide uh, verbal communication into two parts one is oral communication and second is written communication right oral means whatever uh, communication we do using words spoken that means anything uh, any medium any form which has spoken words right coming there that would fall under the category of oral communication for example uh, the way i i deliver lecture in the classroom that comes under the category of oral communication interviews uh, are the examples of oral communication uh, oral presentations are there right then telephone talk is also uh, a type of oral communication so tv uh, when we see tv or radio rather so radio is oral because they speak there right uh, in television you find people speaking so that is oral communication and likewise when we have you know words written in form right to share to exchange our ideas in that way that goes with written communication right okay uh, now there are few examples of written communication right uh, one example that is the reason why i'm talking Uh, we need to talk about the title that is letter writing. So letter writing is the first example we can say, email email writing, then the, uh, memo writing, proposal writing, technical description, right? Then uh, uh, proposal writing is there, right? So resume is also a kind of written communication. So uh, anything where uh, written words are used, right? For any more. that is called written communication right is it clear with uh, this everybody up to now buddha and uh, kevin is it clear up to now yes sir <laughs> yes sir fine so uh, we can go ahead right yes great great Now uh, we'll uh, move to the uh, written communication. Uh, specifically, we'll talk about letter writing in this session. Okay. Uh, effective communication is the soul of any business or industry. Right? That is very important. Uh, I was reading one article, and I could come to know that uh, there are famous personalities across the world, whom people respect a lot. And I was surprised to know that they are respected. because not because of their skill because of their attitude and their communication see see the difference for example amitabh bachchan amitabh bachchan people respect him because because of the way uh, he you know communicates with other people barack obama became the president of usa because he there were you know uh, lots of number of communication experts right they studied uh, obama's speeches when he delivered speeches while he was there as a candidate for the presidential uh, presidential election of usa right he had a typical pattern right a very effective pattern of communication right narendra modi ji the uh, current prime minister of india he had the skill right of coming he is a you know a great orator in a way we can say fine so uh, if you look at these people from from communication point of view you will come to know that they have something with them right which can you know seek the attention of others and which can you know demand respect and regards 
from the audiences fine if you if you uh, google it out the famous speeches of the people fine uh, i don't think that you know uh, that would be something which would be uh, which you would be listening for the first time that uh, martin luther king junior uh, i have a dream fine uh, that speech by there was no social media even the people you know gathered there and they listened to them with the churchill right uh, his last speech right during the world war that is also famous you can go in in a search out such kind of thing and you will get to know that definitely for any industry for business for social for personal professional anywhere your mode of communication your approach your attitude that makes a lot of difference no doubt about it like it is further said that in fact it is the life blood of global organization right it is life blood because if you don't communicate you communicate that you don't want to communicate underline this if you do not communicate that means you don't want to communicate you communicate in that way so communication is everywhere right by communicating you communicate and by not communicating you also communicate this is little bit complex to understand in the morning right and when you don't have a cup of tea but uh, you listen to it twice you get to know the written communication has wide you know reach and is therefore used extensively in the business world see written communication is you don't need to be present at the time of message is conveyed right Uh, there is a beautiful word in english called perishable perishable right uh, for example uh, milk milk is perishable you cannot you know keep milk for 4 5 days without refrigerator right because it is it has limited life right so spoken words has limited life for example i am speaking and you are doing something else in your mobile phone and minimizing google meet right so in that way if you miss the word you miss the word unless and until it is not recorded you cannot revisit it right but written communication you can read reread multiple times that's why it is there right that's why that's why it is preferred that it as a future reference as a legal reference in businesses right so it further says that written communication provides a permanent record for both receiver and sender so it gives you an idea that that you know on this date this letter was received this letter was sent so you can have a record and you can have that base as evidence that's why written communication is given more importance by in communication in business now we narrow it down to letter what do we mean by letter a letter is a written message conveyed from one person to another person simple right now uh, this is called interpersonal communication when any any communication happens between one person to another person that can be a party right for example it can be one to many it can be one to many it can be one to one it can be many to many right uh, for example i if i simplify it for example if i write a letter to one student if i write a letter to all the students if all the students write a letter to me right or if all the students write a letter to all the professors that means that can be one or many as receiver or sender now when we communicate i would like to add one small topic uh, interpersonal communication here so please pay attention here right uh, number 1 is extra personal communication listen to me very carefully extra personal communication now what is extra personal communication extra personal communication means when 
a person communicates with non human beings being human no human beings i'm not talking about samantha right so here when you when you communicate with the mirror or your mobile phone or laptop right or any animal right that comes under the category of extra personal communication this is the question right can be uh, that can be asked in exam mind it right extra personal number 1 number 2 intra personal intra personal means when you talk to yourself right when you interact with yourself when you talk to yourself come on yeah man you can do this so you are telling yourself so over there you can definitely you know go for it so that is what that is what we call we call it intra personal communication next is next is organizational communication that means whatever communication happens in organization in terms of formal communication see uh, there are two kinds of communication one is formal communication second is informal communication right informal communication is for example uh in the water room in the canteen during the uh you know uh, commuting from campus to you know home in the bus when you in when you talk with your friends on you know whatsapp or on call right so that unofficial thing that goes with informal communication now there is one word right which is used for with reference to humors how humors spread humors spread with one you know a tool one form of communication which is of informal communication that is called grapevine grapevine is used right is the most popular tool or mod of informal communication that we talk informally in group in chats right here we talk about formal communication right okay so after organizational communication there is another communication called mass communication mass means media when you talk to huge mass right you write uh, you post it uh, on a social media that goes to the lots of people when it is printed in newspaper it goes to thousands of people right that is called mass media there are five there are types for interpersonal communication when you interact with somebody so here we talk about letter writing right now letter writing is similar to email address right when you write email to one person right that is interpersonal communication right okay i talked about extra personal intra personal organizational fourth was mass media mass communication and fifth that is important is interpersonal communication that is one to one so here we talk about one to one fine okay up to here is it clear everybody hello are you there yes, yes. sir then then okay great okay now uh, we'll talk about uh, what is the layout of letter how letter is written see uh, when you studied in a passport to communication skill right uh, you studied this that was related to a uh, formal letter official letter in a way right so here uh, we'll discuss letter bit of that and then we'll switch to business letters now you look at this uh, layout uh, on the screen there is a blue color you know image you will find there that is the layout that means uh, at one glance or at one go it shows that everything starts from left side right on the same margin that means we don't go for tabs right the way we do in the programming right okay so this is what everything is aligned in the left margin 
right okay now when we talk about business letters right business letters are the letters which are written by companies corporates businesses and every business has its own identity in terms of in form of business cards in form of letter heads some people also call it letter pad letter pad letter pad both are the same thing that means there is a pre printed paper which has the name of company type of products or services we are dealing in and address it is pre printed with us right except that letter head everything should be there in the left margin right if it is pre printed whatever margin alignment is there we are not concerned with that but if you are, if we are writing right in that way it should be there right aligned to the left margin okay now it follows open punctuation and close punctuation two forms now uh, what is open punctuated and close punctuation right uh, when we talk about writing addresses right there are two types of addresses written in letters number 1 is self address number 2 is inside address right minded self address is a address which is written right by the writer right which is of his or her address that means in self address is the address of sender's address and inside address is the address of receiver's address that means the first address would be there of sender second address would be there of receiver sender and receiver this would be the sequence now in this addresses you may have found sometimes that people add commas and full stops and sometimes it is not there so in such addresses when you find full stop and commas it is called close punctuated right and and if you don't find any punctuation it is called open punctuated so here this block style follows open punctuated that means we will not add the comma full stop for example two comma the manager comma right we will not do that kind of things right okay now uh, when i say that it doesn't mean that we will not add the comma anywhere there are two places which is a very common mistake found right in letter writing that when we write salutation and when we write complimentary close salutation means dear sir complimentary close means yours faithfully right with this two we will add a comma fine okay and this is a very common format right now i give you one minute time to look at this if you have a question or query you ask me because if the format is right if the layout is right of any letter whatever you have written but you will get some minimum marks that's why it is important for us to understand the format and the layout right so one minute to look at this and then again right i ask question if you have otherwise we'll go ahead fine uh, so is there any question or query regarding this no sir okay everybody is it fine 
could you understand this if you understood kindly write yes in the comment box great okay now uh, it's time for reconnection which one is not the standard element of letter writing that means generally it is, uh, what what is the part which does not come in the layout standard right date salutation postscript and complimentary close right uh, you need to type answer in your uh wow see this is the beauty of teaching intelligent students before you complete the end question you find students writing answer postscript yes this is the right answer postscript is the right answer that it is not the standard element right it is additional one okay very good okay now uh, we'll discuss briefly and quickly uh, seven c's seven c's has been very commonly found justifying justifying the letter and its quality first one is clear like right? that means it should be clear about what you want to say that means there should be clarity in your communication in the word selection so which kind of words you use that is important second is concise right concise means as small as possible as brief as possible right use simple words and say only what is needed right so no need to you know uh, go for the uh, words right which are of decorative language fine right? so be simple right and straightforward concrete right it talks about heaviness use exact words and phrases don't go around right Uh, the typical mentality of indian people if you if you can do experiment you know uh, if possible and if you can do that you ask any foreign student right a question that student will answer either yes or no and if you ask the same question to your indian friend right that student will you know move you around take you around you know and and uh, you will be confused that whether he has agreed or not whether he is positive or not so we we have that habit of giving more excuses right so that's the problem over there yes means yes no means no and here we try to explain why it is no before saying no so that creates lots of confusions and that is also found in letter writing so we need to be very clear about it perfect use correct spelling language and grammar that's very important if you use past tense in place of future tense right there is there will not be any value of your letter because it is good for nothing right so if you don't know which structure which are the words to be used right that's the problem i'm coming up with new uh, concept right i'm working on it that which words are used at which place the the question of word usage is a big question in society for example uh, should i call you smart or should i address you as clever should i call you wise should i call you intelligent see all our words used for phrasing he randomly used this sometimes i say that you are very you know very clever sometimes i i say that you are very intelligent sometimes i say that you are very wise 
so exactly which word should be used at which place if you want to go out with your friend right or friends should you ask your dad for the permission or for the consent are you getting my point so here we need to understand that which word is very important correct spelling is also important right punctuation there are lots of uh, grammar memes available right on language nerds websites you will see that you know with one comma here and there it makes all the difference or space will create a problem for example uh, the word god is nowhere god is nowhere and if you put a space right in the word nowhere it would be like this the god is now here it can create such kind of thing right coherent coherent means logical sequence your words should make sense and should be related to the main topic right so it should be there so there should be logical connectivity of your words right okay complete your message should have all the needed information right it should not be look like that you write a letter and then you explain on over a phone then why not to call up one of call the person instead of writing a letter so whatever you want to convey it, it should be clear clearly conveyed to that now be respectful right next is courteous courteous is courtesy be respectful friendly and honest right the respect honor right uh, these are the things which are demanded which are uh, earned rather not demanded right you cannot force anybody to respect you you cannot force anybody to love you right it is is to be earned it comes from within it comes from heart right it is not the manufactured or coming from head so it can be you know manipulated or it can be artificial right it is pure it is very pure like 24 karat gold right so when you respect somebody that means genuinely you respect that person right so here we need to use such kind of words right the written communication english for written communication is also a different topic and there are universities they teach you know written communication only for one semester i'm talking going with just 20 minutes 25 minutes time right so that is important so how uh, how you respect the person how you use the words that is important right okay so now uh, we go ahead now uh, every individual letter is unique we we know that right now thing is that what is the purpose of writing a letter right it is very simple to sustain the existing business the relationship right that means whatever business, existing business relationship is there you need to sustain that you need to maintain that and create and establish new business relationship that means it is used to maintain and create new relationships right that is for that is what letter writing does right okay now uh, if you find out if you can see on the screen i have listed out few uh, purposes objectives of writing a letter right to inquire to request to complain to congratulate to sell a product right to order to collect dues right to make an adjustment to apply for a job to inform and there are lot many right you can find but if we go very specifically to the to the business communication right we will find that in business communication there are mainly two parties seller that is supplier and customer right so we'll go about it these are the two people right two parties oh, one is sender one is receiver right sender is supplier receiver is customer so customer supplier supplier customer in this way it would go right okay. now here comes your uh, turn to help me letter of inquiry is written by customer to supplier that means you like something 
and uh, you thought that see i want this so you write a letter or write an email right to the company who deal with that who deals with that particular product or service so you as a customer write a letter to the supplier now letter of reply to inquiry will be written by who will write supplier to customer very good kevin and if you like this right if you like the product and you want to order that product or service now the letter of order will be written by who will write a letter of order meet very good mohit okay the letter of execution right letter of order comes over there right letter of or execution to order meet who will write letter of execution very good if you have a complaint a letter of complaint is written by customer very good customer to supplier great okay and adjustment to complaint is written by supplier to customer okay great now uh, how many types of complaints are there types of complaint see late delivery of goods that means uh, it was promised that the goods will be delivered within 15 days now it is one and a half months still the products are not delivered late delivery of goods is a complaint wrong goods in terms of quality for example during this monsoon season you during this monsoon season right you ordered for eagle brand rain shoes or eagle brand umbrellas and you received the products right when you received the product right you could find that it was pigeon brand umbrellas instead of eagle brand that means quality is different you write a letter of complaint there wrong goods in terms of connective you know in terms of quantity for example you ordered for 12 dozen 144 pieces and you received 13 dozens see if you receive 15 dozen you will say that bade bade this mein choti choti baatein hoti rehti hai it's okay because you received more one more dozen right but if you receive instead of 12 dozen is if you receive 11 dozens right you will say how dare you have paid for 12 dozens there should be 12 dozens so quantity wise damaged goods when you order a mobile phone right you will find that when you open the parcel you have got portable display portable display means that display can be detached from the mobile yes it is not a new technology it is damaged to one if you order a dinner set of 54 pieces right and you receive the dinner set of 62 pieces that means all the big plates have been broken into two parts damaged goods so you will write a complaint letter there okay now we need to go with the next question reconnect which is not the part of 7c's let's see we'll go with the fastest finger first completeness coordination consideration copy notation which c is not the part of 7c's of effective coming I mean, letter writing you need to type wow Okay. Okay. I have edited one option of coordination that to just confuse people, but you could find out that copy notation 
uh, is the option. This is wrong one. Very good. So proud of you people. Okay. Now we'll go a little bit about layout and uh, address. I'll give you a little bit uh, idea because you already know this. So I'll not uh, waste time on this because we want to write three letters today, right? Okay. So first one is heading, second is date, third is inside address, fourth is salutation, subject line, body of the letter, complementary close, and signature. So if somebody asks you that, how many elements are there in letter writing? So we'll consider standard one. You need to answer eight, right? So we'll quickly go through that, what comes in the heading. In heading, you will find that you need to write the name of company address. Fine. Okay. This would be the address. So you know address very well, right? Okay. Kevel, Runda, if you have a question or query, you can ask me in between any time, right? Or anybody else. Yes, sir. Okay. Now uh, I I talked about head, letter head, right? In letter head, every company has their logo. It's not Basti ke logo, no company, right? So logo is there and the com company's address is there. Even you can write the major uh, you know, products or services you are dealing with. You can also mention that in your letter. Okay. Date. Uh, first two dates are acceptable, right? First one is called DDMMYY. That is British method. Date, month, and year. Fine. Second method is MMDDYY. That is month date and year, right? And that is American method. You can use either of the methods, right? But 18 oblique 5 oblique 2017 is not acceptable because uh, the people who write British method, they will consider as 18th May. And the people who, who write this, you know, American method, they'll consider as the 5th, 5th of what? So they'll get confused, right? So it's better that you go with either American or British method. American is better because there is no, no superscript, TH and SD and all this. So there is minimum uh, possibility of uh, mistakes, right? Okay. Inside address, it is very similar to what we write in, uh, what we call self address, right? It's similar to that. Salutation. Right, so in salutation, we'll use comma. Right, okay. So, dear sir, dear madam, right, and all this you can write by name, like Mr. Manor, this I, this pretty dash, right, Mrs. and Miss, right, uh, MS, right, it's not MS Tony, but MS is a common form. If you are not aware that whether it's the, the uh, other person, female person, recipient of the letter is married or not, you can write MS dot, right? that, use, that is used for both, right? Uh, if you are sure about it, you can write MRS, that is Mrs. or you can use MIWS, right? So these are the ones. Here, uh, you need to make sure that this one is S is capital, right? Here, comma, 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 right? Here also you can write dear uh, Mr. Bano or this side, dear Miss Priti Jat, you can also mention like that. Right. Uh, you can write by uh, you know positions or uh, the tags that have they have uh, dear committee members, dear colleagues, right? To whom it may uh, concern, that is for certificate, right? When you are designing a certificate, it can be used for that. So that the letters are very common to all. You can go with that. A dear purchasing manager or purchase manager, that means we don't know the name of the person, but we know the designation. So by designation, we can write, right? And when we have common letter, a kind of circular, we write to all self-representatives, right? So this is the way. This is the full form of madam, madams. Okay. This is the title of the company, uh, Messrs. 
star brothers right okay. so we have the way we have son of daughter of care of and oblique axis masses that means it is a firm it is a kind of business firm subject line you can write sub you can write ref reference right you can write it like that and subject line should be of one line one instruction simple subject line should be of one line that means it should have one line only right subject line should not be there for two three lines there should not be a paragraph of subject line so minimum words for the subject line now you will be able to know that in google has started using ai for emails so when you're typing something it will predict you need to tap and the, uh, the text would be here if you don't write subject line if you draft the email right google will predict or google will suggest the subject line for you see the i'm talking about the uh, you know possibilities opportunities of ai in everyday life body of the letter body of the letter is divided in three parts right that is introduction main and conclusion so you can write that uh, body part in three paragraphs or it can be one paragraph whatever suits you right so we need to talk about uh, the reference what is the main purpose and we expect that the things will be considered and you will get the reply right so this is what it has been said that it has all the details that need need to be uh, communicated it appears one space below the salutation that means uh, we will leave one blank space everywhere insert address one space blank date one space blank insert address one space now one line will leave then we have dear sir dear madam one line subject line one line for paragraphs and one line complimentary close one line and signature one line it should be like this if i take you there to make you visualize i'm talking about this thing is what we call inside address that right? here we'll have date then uh, this is self address date inside address salutation subject line paragraph complimentary close and date uh, and signature sorry so these are the eight things that we have okay complimentary close uh, you can mention sincerely cordially truly faithfully Right. Even you can write yours faithfully, yours sincerely, yours truly, yours faithfully. Right. There are multiple ways of uh, writing this. You make sure that which letter is capital and which which letter is not capital. I tell you that the most common mistake I have found in letters is when the students write yours faithfully. right they why i don't know why but they make this f apostrophe this f is capital right this should not be there mind it right signature i right? so you control yourself right abc or whatever you wish right don't you know show your skill of doing signature in different way oh so i did it which one is not additional element of let writing complementation deadline deadline is eight line is a common one Right. Okay. Now, uh, what shall we do? Is 
uh, I'll give you one hour time. One hour time, yes. Up to now, right? So I'll give you uh, 45 minutes, right? Instead of 20, 20 minutes, 45 minutes to write three letters, right? You need 45 minutes. If you have a question or query, I'm here. But after 45 minutes, I'll share one Google form and you need to update. You need to you know, submit three, all three letters, right? As one PDF file without fail. And that would be your attendance, right? So take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot of this letter. As a student of MU, you want to purchase a laptop for your personal use. Write a letter of inquiry asking price, configuration, discount, mode of payment, and terms and conditions to the Vipro Technologies, Mam Nagar, and the Bank. Right? So, your address, today's date, right? To Vipro Technologies, Mam Nagar, and the Bank, and then you write a letter. Right? Okay. So, any doubt up to now in this letter? If you have a doubt, yeah. No doubt, sir. Clear. Okay, then. So, I'll go with the next letter. Letter number two is Bharat Industries from 103 GIDC Baroda wants to purchase an industrial tool from Giant Tools Firm, NG Road, Mumbai. I tell you that there is not a single city in India when there is no NG Road. NG Road stands for Mahatma Gandhi Road, Station Road. Airport road, right? These are the common roads that you find in every city. So if you if you are if you are not sure about addresses, you can write such kind of thing. On behalf of Bharat Industries, you are given the responsibility to write a letter of order regarding the industrial tool. Draft the letter, right? So whatever tool you wish, industrial tool, it can be a printer, it can be a you know a grinder. So whatever your knowledge is, right? You can mention anything about it. You take a screenshot of this. Okay. Next is third letter is your company has ordered 50 computers on receiving the consignment. You came to know that three computers are not found as per the configuration sent. As manager, as a manager, write a letter of company to the manager ADP Corporation has referred. That means there were 8 GB configuration and two computers are in a pound with 4 GB, something like that. Right? This letter was asked in uh, 2014 exam. You want to take a new auto car from loan from State Bank of India, write a letter of inquiry letter to the chief manager SBA branch right, of your locality. Uh, but here we will consider these three letters. You take a screenshot, everybody. So uh, your time starts now at 11.15, right? At 11.10 or 11.05, I will share I will share the Google form link and you need to submit your letters there. Fine. Start working it on. You need to write on a page, paper, pen and paper, properly, neatly written. Right, and then you scan. Is everybody clear what you are supposed to do? You will be online here and you will be writing on a paper, right? 
I'll ask anybody, anytime, that what you have written and uh, where you have reached. And I'll also ask to share your screen and show me what you have written. Three letters, 45 minutes. The time has already been started.
Students, last five minutes. Last five minutes. Amit, uh, thank you for submitting uh, the letter. Dear, you need to submit uh, all three letters in one PDF and uh, you have not added self address. Second thing, uh, there is no complimentary clause used. So you need to rewrite it and submit it. Yes, sir. Okay.
so uh, everybody have you all written three letters or need some more time is there anybody who has a, any query or doubt for these three letters you can ask me if you have a question regarding letter it Rusty, uh, I have received uh, four responses till now. Try to copy uh, that file, that link, and uh, open it in a browser. Even I can directly click on it and I can open it. So it's not necessary that you, you should have Marwadi's email ID, you know, used for the to open this you can use any email id because i have removed the restriction and even i have removed uh, i have made one modification that you can edit after submission so by 12 o'clock you need to submit and by three o'clock right or 3 30 you can edit the response after 3.30, uh, I will stop receiving or I'll just toggle off the you know Google form so that you won't be able to edit or add or submit your response after 3.30. So if you have a question or query, you please ask me. Kevin, Runda, was there any uh, any issue or question for letters? No, sir. Uh, no queries are were there. Okay, Kevin, where are you? Man, could you write three letters? No, sir, no query. Okay, Kevin, could you write all three letters? Yeah, sir, just uh, making PDF of it. Okay, fine. Okay, Nandini? Yes, sir. 
Would you write all three letters? Yes. Good. I am just about to finish third one. Yes. Okay, fine. Pujan. Hello, Pujan. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any doubts, questions, queries for letter writing? Hello. Fine. Uh, name is? Yes, sir. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Okay. Could you write three letters? Yes, sir. I submitted. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Avesh. Okay. Bhavisha. Bhavisha. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, any doubts, question, queries? No, sir. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Yes, I get the network issue. You type it. No problem. Okay, good. Nishita? Okay, doubts? Okay, great. Okay. So what should we do is, uh, I'll keep the form open. I'll accept, I consider uh, responses till 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, uh, what whoever submits will be considered for attendance. And till 3.30, if you want to edit, if you wish, right, you can do that. 3.30, you know, form will be deactivated. Fine. Runda, is it fine? Yes, sir. Done. So, can we call it for a day, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, thank you very much for joining. Right. Uh, see you ne uh, uh, in the class next Monday. We'll be talking about uh, report writing. And in the next lab, we'll have another topic. Till then, thank you very much. Have a great day ahead. Thank you.